Hey everyone, back with one more Christmas haul video. Um, this is gonna be all of the stocking stuffers that I got for my kids. So for an almost nine year old girl, eight year old boy and three year old boy. And everything came from um, Dollarama and Walmart. We like to do, or I guess <laughs> it's for me deciding what to get for stockings. Oh, tea kettle. Yeah, <laughs> um, I like to do a mix of needs, uh, do's, like kind of crafty sort of things, and then um, like some treats. But I try to try to avoid the junky sort of stuff in stockings if I can, because my kids are rough on toys. They break them and it drives me crazy. I hate replacing stuff, or not replacing it, but like throwing things away. So yeah, let me just flip the camera around and show you what I got each of them. There's all the stuff in bags still. I'll just get it out and show you one kid at a time, starting with the youngest, working my way up to the oldest, what I got them. Okay, so here's the three-year-old, or here are the three-year-old stocking stuffers. Now that I have it laid out in front of me, I'm realizing it's a lot of stuff. Um, probably not gonna fit in his stocking, but for us, we usually have a couple little things that are, um, that don't fit in the stocking and they kind of sit outside of it, so that's fine. Um, yeah, I try not to do too much candy, mix of useful things and needs, and then some fun stuff too. So I'll just start over here. I'll start with the candy. So each kid got a pack of the Christmas Sour Patch Kids and a pack of Reindeer Reese's Pieces and then a Kinder Christmas Kinder Surprise. So Noah's been really into Santa. He's been obsessed with him, wanting to watch every movie about him. So he's getting the Santa one. And then each of the kids got a water bottle. These are just cheap plastic ones. Normally I like to get steel water bottles, but the kids lose them all the time. Like, yeah, I don't know, water bottles just come to our house to die. <laughs> so I just got these cheap little plastic ones. They were two bucks each. And this one, Noah loves dinosaurs and again loves Santa. So I thought it'd be perfect for him. Santasaurus water bottle. This is definitely a need. So um, I got a toothbrush set for each of the kids. Noah likes PJ masks and it comes with an electric one, a non-electric one and toothpaste, as you can see, <laughs> for only 10 bucks. So this is way cheaper than buying each of these things on their own in the store. Um, so even if you don't wanna get these for stocking stuffers, they'd be a good thing to buy right now just cause they're a good price. Um, I'm gonna take these out of the packaging and just shove them into the stocking. I don't wrap stocking stuffers, I just shove them in there. <laughs> so um, yeah, just to help it fit. And then, um, he is getting a pack of undies, so he's still potty training, and we're going through lots of underwear as a result, but I got him these Baby Shark undies. His Nana wants to get him Transformers underwear, so I got Baby Shark. He does like Baby Shark, so I think, well, I don't know how much he'll like underwear, but he'll probably think those are cute. And I got him some Transformers socks. These are probably going to be too big for him, um, but I was looking at the size, like, I don't know what the other one is, 9 to 11 or something, 8 to 11, and they look too small. So I just got these. There's Bumblebee and Optimus Prime, and I can't tell this one, just a generic Transformer symbol on this. So he'll like those, I think. Um, this, so he's always stealing the big kid's Lego and wrecking it, and they get so mad at him. Um, and this came for free from Amazon. Not sure why they sent it to me for free, but... Um, I figured it would be a great stocking stuffer for him. He might need some help building it, but he'll enjoy playing with it. Each of the kids got a mini Squishmallow. Um, normally I don't do stuffies because they have a ton and um, especially Christmas themed ones, but these were so cute. And again, like Noah's been really into Santa, so I think he will like this. Um, he also got, this is from Dollarama and just a little Paw Patrol 3D puzzle I think he'll like. He loves painting, so also from Dollarama, I got him this car art set. So, looking, sorry about the stain on my comforter. On the inside, there's watercolor paints, some crayons, an eraser, pencil, and a sharpener. And he's getting a Beyblade. This is also from Dollarama. These are normally so expensive. He steals the big kids' Beyblades, so I grabbed him that. And, yeah, I don't know, this was on a clearance rack at Walmart. Again, he likes sharks and baby sharks, so I got it for him. It's just a little slime mini thing. And then lastly, just this little toy. So it's a little mini transformer. I think it was like five bucks at Walmart. So easily transformed, transforms from a rescue bot into a car. 
sometimes he needs help with that process so that'll be nice for him so yeah those are Noah's stocking stuffers I'll really quickly say like where everything came from so Amazon and then everything from here over is Walmart and everything from here oh wait no sorry this is Walmart too yeah everything from here Walmart and from here is um Dollarama oh my gosh I'm terrible that was Walmart too <laughs> so those are Noah's stocking stuffers all right so here are Carter's stocking stuffers so everything from here to here is Walmart everything from here to here is Dollarama I might actually put this with his Christmas pile um well Christmas pile like gift pile instead of stocking stuffers but we'll see might leave it out not sure but let me just go through and show you everything so for our treats again he got the Maynard's Christmas kids yeah Christmas Sour Patch kids uh Reese's and um a penguin kinder surprise and then he got pokemon or pikachu socks and pikachu boxers so yeah at christmas i like to get like fun socks and underwear normally i just kind of buy the cheapest because we lose them all the time so i thought he i thought that would be fun for him although i'm kind of considering like isla's getting minecraft socks and underwear and like kind of giving each of them one of each haven't decided yet um he got a toothbrush and toothpaste the only Super Mario set they had didn't have like the three piece set like Noah got. It was just these, but whatever. He'll be fine. Um, and then another sort of neat item, just this poop emoji water bottle I thought was cute. Again, two bucks at Walmart. A little slime bomb. I think this was half off at um, Walmart. I think that'll be fun. They like bath bombs, they like slime. Win win. And then I'm not sure if this is the squish malo he'll be getting, but I put the this one with this pile, the Christmas tree one. We will see which one I decide to give each of them on Christmas Eve when we fill the stockings. And yeah, there's this game. I got this a Dollarama. So yeah, like three or four bucks for this. He likes games. He likes cats. I think he will enjoy this. A little book. So 50 things you really need to know about yucky stuff. So typical boys liking gross things. I think he'll enjoy that. He's getting a Fortnite Nerf gun with his Christmas stuff. So I got him some Nerf bullets. And this cat 3D puzzle, cats are his favorite animal. And then lastly, an orange Beyblade. Orange is his favorite color. So those are Carter, our eight-year-old's stocking stuffers. Lastly, these are Isla's stocking stuffers. Um, so she's turning nine in January, um, about two weeks after Christmas. So let's go through what I got her. Everything from here, oops, here onward is Walmart. Everything from here onward is Dollarama. So if you watched my What I Got My Kids for Christmas video, um, you know that the older two are, are obsessed with YouTube. So I got her the Ryan's World um, toothbrushes and toothpaste. Oh, wait, or is this like two things of toothpaste and one thing, one toothbrush, whatever. She got that. Um, did I already say the candy? Uh, no, I don't think so. So Sour Patch Kids, Reese's, and she got the polar bear kinder surprise and she's getting this dog water bottle dogs are her favorite animal um, minecraft socks and there's minecraft steve and is that the creeper yeah creeper and then more creeper socks and then underwear although like i said with carter i might swap it out so each of them gets one we'll see i think i'm giving her the snowman haven't decided yet I might swap them um this came from Dollarama, so she likes baking, um, or she's getting into it, so some poop emoji, cupcake molds. <laughs> um, she's getting a Beyblade too, her favorite color is green. This book, she likes scary stuff and monsters, so especially sharks and things like that, so 50 things you need to know about ocean monsters. Color by number animals, this is from Dollarama. This is so cool, like if you follow this guide that they have in the front, you can color all these things in. I got her something like this for Christmas last year, and I think she will like it. Yeah, pretty cool. She's pretty artistic, so. And then a scratch art set, too. So I thought that was cool. Comes with a little wooden stylus to scratch out the colors. Um, I think she'll like this. So tattoo pens with stencils, also from Dollarama. 3D dog puzzle, because her favorite animals, dogs. 
and then that's it and yeah just as a side note she does not like girl underwear she's always worn boxers her briefs i'm not sure why she finds them more comfortable so that's why i got her that it's also easier to find her things that she's interested in in the boy section so yeah those are isla's stocking stuffers and then something i didn't mention before I have these bags of candy from Golf Barn. I'm going to put a few of those in each of their stockings too, I think, if I don't eat them all before Christmas. We'll see. No promises. I think that three things is lots though, um, especially with advent calendars and so many other treats on Christmas. But yeah, um, so those are the, all the kids' stocking stuffers. Um, we spent about, um, let's see, a dollar on my spent about 30 total for like these little things. Then at Walmart for these, it was like 100 but so that's quite a bit actually it might have been more like 150 but keep in mind like things like socks and underwear toothbrushes stuff like that those are kind of expensive and things that you need to get the kids anyways and that's what ate up a lot of the money and then these were also like seven dollars each so yeah um i'm actually just going to show you their ornaments as well okay yeah so i'll just quickly show you their ornaments too normally i just get them one or two um i just kind of kept finding cool stuff this year and i think i've said in previous videos but 2020 sucked we're going overboard for christmas we're not going into debt we're just spending more than we normally do i started shopping earlier and spread it out so it is still affordable for us but yeah i went i went overboard <laughs> i do like buying the kids ornaments because um they're, yeah, my husband's mom had this tradition where they got a new ornament every year and they saved them up and then when they moved out, they had enough to decorate their own little tree with. So I'd like to do the same for the kids if I can, if they don't break them all before then. Um, this one I got for the baby. So yeah, just an example of me going overboard, like a sonogram ornament. It's not even like a first Christmas ornament. He's due at the end of January, but whatever. I thought it was sweet and I decided to get it for him. Um... Noah's getting two Transformers ornaments. He actually found these already. And he, as he was running with this to show it to me, he tripped and smashed and broke it. So I had to go buy him a new one. Yeah, those are his two. And then these are really cool. So um, the kids love grab bags and these are mystery ornaments. So I thought that was awesome. So Noah is getting a Marvel one. It'll be a fun thing. I think I'll probably give them these ones when they, when we decorate the tree, but this can be like a Christmas Eve surprise um and then isla is getting a creeper a piece of pizza so cute pizza is definitely her favorite food um a dog ornament that i found in dollarama for like a dollar so it's hard to find animal ones for some reason so i got her that and then yeah a harry potter mystery ornament they will be excited they love harry potter as do i obviously being a 90s kid Carter, so he's got really similar to what Isla has. They really like everything to be super fair. He's got a Pikachu one, um, a croissant. This is mostly the reason why I bought these was because I thought it was so funny that they had a croissant. Um, he has weird eating habits. He's pretty picky, but croissants are one of his favorite things. So I got him that. He's also got a mystery ornament and a cat ornament. And then for myself, I got, oops. So I turned 30 this year. And I had a friend's themed 30th birthday with just like my sisters because, you know, COVID. But I got myself a friend's ornament, the Central Perk Cafe Couch to commemorate that. We still need to get one for Steve. And then I bought two family ones. So I had ordered this, but I was sort of worried it might not come. Because uh, I, yeah, I don't know. I was just worried. And so I got this at a farmer's market. It's a Mary X mask. I think this one's funnier though. It has all of our names on it with masks hand sanitizer, toilet paper, and I didn't even notice this, but like, isn't this a virus symbol? Yeah, so that's all of the ornaments. Throw this in here because these were missing from my what I got my kids for Christmas video, but I finally got their big gifts, the iPods. Um, yeah, they weren't in the Christmas video because I was waiting for a Black Friday sale, which never happened. I did buy these at full price, so they were $2.50 each, which is pricey for sure. Um, but I think they're going to use these a really long time. They're going to be really useful for them. It's something we've been wanting to get them for a long time. Um, I think they're going to love them because they'll do everything that they want a phone to do or that they think a phone will do, but like with parent restrictions in place. Um, so I feel good about getting them those. So I look at the white one with the blue backing. Carter got the black 
And I considered getting him the one that was white on front and red on the back, but I thought it would be way easier for everyone if they could just immediately see whose was whose right away, it would avoid some fights. Um, and then Carter's getting this case. I got this off Amazon for like eight, or no, it was more like $12. And Isla's getting this dog one. And something I didn't know when I bought it, but it's so cool is look, it's got like this gel in it with glitter chunks that you can slide around. So I think she'll think that's really cool. And then I also got these, um, I don't think I'll put these in their stockings because I don't want them to know what their big gift is when they open those because stockings are usually first, but these are supposed to protect your charging port from damage, um, like your cord from splitting at the base. So yeah, not your charging port, your cord, sorry. So Carter's going to get the cat one and probably the bear one. Isla's going to get the dog and probably the shark. Um, yeah, I've been so impressed with I already set up their iPods with parental controls and um, the apps that I'm going to let them use. So they're going to be really excited. I downloaded Among Us and Minecraft onto those already. Um, so they're going to be really excited about that because they haven't been able to play Minecraft in quite some time. They used to play on Isla's tap or laptop and then the iPad, but the iPad's been super slow and the laptop broke. So they're going to love that. Um, yeah, Apple has it set up so that you can set up Apple IDs for um, for your kids if they're under 13, but you can totally control it. And they have to send a request to you that gets approved by you before they can download any new apps. You can set it up so that you can manage their contact list because you can iMessage and stuff on the iPod. Um, so I've been really impressed with the, oh, and you can also set it so that the iPod's basically powered down by a certain time and can't be used again until the next day. So I love that. I'm really happy with our choice to buy these. I know it's it's pretty pricey, like I said, but it's cheaper than tablets and it's gonna make them feel more grown up than a phone. Or I guess not, not cheaper than tablets, but cheaper than iPads. I love Apple though, cause I'm an Apple person. I have like iPhones, iPad, laptop, like all that. And it's just easier for me to link everything. Noah's getting the Fire tablet for Christmas, like you saw in my video before. And it's just, it's been harder for me to figure out with like tech savvy kids. I'm glad that I'll be like one step ahead of them with this. Not that I don't trust them, but you know, um, but yeah, so those are their big Christmas gifts. I thought I would include those in this video because I didn't have them to show you in my, what I got my kids for Christmas video. All right. So that's all of the stocking stuffers and ornaments and stuff that I got for the kids this year. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you got some good ideas and I'll, it sounds kind of conceited. Hope you got some good ideas. No, well, hope you got some ideas from what I bought. And I'll see you in the next video.